Testing one, two, one, two. All right, we're live. All systems good. Hi, guys. Welcome to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. We're live here from Singapore, and it's approximately 12, 16 a.m., so I've got the family sleeping, so I can't really shout loud. But I'd like to welcome you if you're new to the channel. And also, welcome back to all our regular viewers and subscribers, because you're awesome. I love you, and it's thanks to your energy and support that I want to keep uploading cool videos to the channel. Now, ByteDance has confirmed they have purchased Pico Interactive. This is Oculus Quest or Facebook's biggest threat yet because ByteDance are a global company who have millions and millions of dollars. Uh, and of course, they own TikTok. So let's go to the other screen and transition over. First of all, uh, if we look at the amount of users that ByteDance have, they have reportedly 1.9 billion monthly active users across all its platforms as of December 2020, uh, according to a memo that went, uh, that the company had divulged. Uh, and it also includes basically, uh, well, Darwin, which is the China version of TikTok, have more than 600 million users a day. So that's a lot of potential, uh, you know, data that they're able to, to get from so many different people. We will do a separate video on data, what it means for, you know, VR as a whole. So make sure you're unable with the bell uh, notification after you subscribe so you don't get, you know, succumb to the YouTube algorithm and you can actually be told when we upload a new video in your video newsfeed. Uh, so let's transition back over now. Um, what's happened is that the party of China has actually clamped down, the Communist Party in China has clamped down on a lot of tech billionaires from WeChat, Alibaba, so on and so forth. And this did not exclude uh, ByteDance because basically they need to control, um, you know, all the information flow that goes out in China to every single different people so they can remain in power. Basically, that's um, that's what it is. That's what it means. There's a lot of things you can't say over there. Uh, you know, you have a lot of different repercussions. Um, but at the same time, they do allow a lot of freedom. I've, I've personally lived in China for more than 10 years. And I can tell you it's not, it's perfectly okay. But I'm just saying that, you know, they do, oh, my mic is falling down. Uh, they, they do control a lot of the information. So what's basically happened is um, they actually bought the Chinese government now owes 1% of ByteDance and also have three board seats on the ByteDance board. So they actually now can have a legal channel to basically get hold or, or, or acquire the data that's been mined by Binance, uh, ByteDance. Now, do you remember that ByteDance um, can get as much information as Facebook, um, you know, uh, they, they they are the biggest threat to Facebook. Now, the articles do state, um, including the Upload VR and also the uh, South China Morning Post, which is an official publication, uh, which is from Hong Kong and talks more about the China things and also Asia things. They do state that basically ByteDance uh, are looking to, uh, you know, stay and market first in China and not take on Facebook yet yet but guys they have the money to take on facebook believe me these guys are going to go ipo next year in hong kong uh they were supposed to try to go ipo in the west but unfortunately they were denied and trump also had put a ban on certain social media uh in the us including ByteDance. and if we go back uh basically biden uh one of the things that he had actually done is to revoke uh, some of the Trump things, and this was including the bite down. So bite downs was uh, was the ban was revoked, and you know in the US they could basically use bite downs freely. Now this could of course be a political play to put more, um, you know, to, to tighten the screw on China's economy. Um, you know, at the time, I mean, when Trump was trying to ban things, and of course, this spurred a sell-off, and Microsoft almost bought TikTok, but at the end, they did not. So, you know, this is really big news uh, for the world of VR. We will do a separate video, as I mentioned, so do make sure you're unable to bell notification after you subscribe, uh, so you are told in your video feed when we upload that video as to what it means for the VR industry in terms of the data, safety, security, and all these kind of different things. Now, Pico are, um, by the way, the third world's largest uh, VR manufacturer. 
Um, they've been growing year on year 47, 44.7%. And they recently had more than 60, 16 million US dollars. What was so recent? Um, they, they just got a Series B. So Pico Series B, uh, it was a Series B plus. Uh, they raised more than 37 million uh, US dollars very recently in a Series B funding and they market to the China market and they have all the biggest uh, you know, VR Western brands that are in there other than of course um, Beat Saber because Beat Saber are <laughs> owned by Facebook. So of course they're not going to put Beat Saber there but they, you know they have O-Shape and uh, they have Synth Riders and a whole bunch of other really big titles in there and they're one of the only standalone VR headsets to be available on the market at the moment and the only brand now by that to take on Facebook potentially so Facebook watch out Quest users watch out is it healthy for VR is it healthy for VR you're gonna have to watch the next video that I'll do after I do some uh, some more research. I'm trying to research if Facebook actually owns shares of ByteDance and if vice versa, ByteDance owns shares of Facebook, or potentially they could have shell companies which are vested in Facebook or ByteDance. Why isn't there a competitor to Facebook? Why isn't HTC taken on Facebook? Is Facebook vested in HTC? Who knows, I'm trying to find out. But at the end of the day, ByteDance have more money than HTC when it comes to these kind of things uh, because social media companies, tech companies like at that level have tons of money. Guys, I got to say thank you to you. Let's go to the previous video I uploaded yesterday, which was basically all about, um, you know, the the Oculus Quest 2, uh, 1, 2, 8 gigabytes, whether you should buy or not. I personally advise you don't. It's in the previous video. Let's move over to some of the comments that you guys had uh so let's go to our previous video here uh and let's i'm one of the, the 30 AI. all right so i'd like to thank uh chito chan your maze number one michael line even draws laos 85 Eurosa, and keiki uh the clown keiki the clown said that he felt very betrayed because he did not get any refunds I'm so sorry to hear that. I mean, honestly speaking, I can't believe that Facebook wouldn't give refunds when just a few weeks later, it was 299 US dollars for 64 gigabyte. And then they go and come out, they go and come out with, sorry, my mic. <laughs> and Leon, can you fix this? Your glue needs to be better. Uh, uh, but anyway, yeah, they didn't, they didn't come out with a, you know, apology or a way to refund apparently uh, for people who bought the 128 gigabyte, uh, bought the 64 gigabyte a few weeks before the 128 gigabyte was reintroduced at the same price as the 64 gigabyte. Um, I'd also like to thank uh, Cheeto. It's literally a bump in storage. Yeah, I know it's just a bump in storage, but at the end of the day, I mean, you know, did they offer? Any, did they refund? I don't think they offered any refunds. There's no news I can find about this. Leave a comment below if I'm completely wrong, please. Do tell me if I'm wrong, because you know I, I I didn't find anything. Uh, Michael Line, they did not announce in the same article you read. Uh, okay, sorry. Uh, didn't they? They are some now. Uh, Laos 85 said didn't know the Rift came out in 2012. They didn't come out in 2012. They announced it. Uh, I did make a mistake in that video. And I did uh, put pin comments. Please go and look at the pin comments uh, so you can look at the rectifications uh, from that video because there are a couple of things I did, didn't say right. Very sorry about that. We are live on cut raw video. But guys, um, I'd like to really thank you for all your comments. I really love you guys. Thank you so much. Please make sure you share this video on your Twitter, on your Facebook, on your Reddit, on your LinkedIn, everywhere so we get more people to join the channel. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers, guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the comments below and of course in another video as well. Thanks. Bye guys. Big news today with ByteDance.